Hi guys, Ingis76 there. I want to show you my FPV system now on my DJI Phantom uh, with the Fat Shark uh, Predator 2 system. <coughs> so, this is uh, how it is now. Um, when I connect it, I use <coughs> a flight battery connected to the uh, this one and uh, it sits in here <coughs> and I use this connector for the fat shark system you can connect it to 2s 3s and 4s and uh, the phantom is using uh, two, uh, 3s so I just connect this one <coughs> here and uh, start uh, filming. Under here, I have uh, just taped this on. Uh, this is uh, just so I can test it, and I have uh, done a few, few flights now, and uh, I'm gonna try to mount it inside the Phantom. The camera. That comes with uh, the Fat Shark system. You that just tape under the uh, GoPro mount. Because when I'm flying, I'm filming with the GoPro uh, under here and uh, the uh, FPV camera. So, what the FPV camera sees is uh, the same as the GoPro. The reason why I haven't used the uh, GPS is that uh, this here is a compass for the NASA system and it's very sensitive to uh, uh, man magnetic fields and uh, a man a magnetic field is uh, as simple as a screwdriver with uh, a magnet on it. Um, and if you uh, drag the screwdriver over here, you will mess up the compass. DJI have a video on uh, how to reset the uh, compass. Uh, I have watched the video and uh, tried to fix it uh, one whole evening, uh, but uh, I didn't have any luck. Inside here is a USB cable. You connect this one to uh, a PC um, with a program for uh, the NASA system and uh, they suggest to use a magnet uh, and uh, wipe it around here and the other side and to get the values that you want uh, from 1400 to 1800 uh, and 1600 that's uh, that's perfect uh, on my uh, compass it stays at 400 um, and when I'm wiping the magnet it goes up to 5000 and down and <coughs> uh, to all the numbers um, but when I take the magnet away it goes back to 400 again so I have, I have ordered a new compass it's uh, about uh, uh, 149 Norwegian kroner. Uh, that's not uh, very much. And then you get the support here and the compass. <coughs> yes. Um, what I have to do now is to take off this and uh, camera and the battery connectors and everything and I'm gonna try to mount it inside the uh, Phantom and then I need to uh, <coughs> drill a hole for the antenna this is the up upgrade uh, antenna um, <coughs> it sh uh, shall be much better than the stock one that comes with the, the fat shark system. These are the antennas that comes with the system. I have uh, not used them at all. I just uh, 
screwed on the upgraded ones and I have the goggles there with the antenna of course battery um, <coughs> okay I'm gonna try to connect it so you can see how easy it is um, I have a battery here, so another one. Uh, it's a 3S LiPo also. So this is the battery that comes with the goggles. You just connect them uh, on the side here and they are ready to go. And for this one I just connect it with the connector. I'm not gonna turn on the uh, phantom, just gonna connect the uh, camera and uh, FPV. Okay, it's in. And what I need now is to just connect this one right there and take off the cover on the camera, FPV camera. that and now it sh shall be filming so I'm gonna see if we can get a look in here now here we are here uh, is a picture of me from the FPV uh, camera inside the goggles so when you're using the goggles uh, you, c you have a very clear picture so it works very good okay that's uh, how it's connected very easy I'm gonna take it out again <coughs> yes the next thing now will be uh, to uh, get all the stuff inside the Phantom. Thanks for watching this uh, short uh, review on the Fat Shark and uh, the look at the DJI Phantom. Okay, bye bye.